three key factors that make or break your presentation. Gary Hankins, the author of The Power of the Pitch and an expert on creating a persuasive presentation, shocked me when I started my interview with him on the Art of Film Funding podcast. Gary takes people who have difficulty speaking in front of audiences and he teaches them how to become persuasive presenters. It's an important lesson to learn and a skill to have when you're trying to get investors or donors to give you money for your documentary, feature, short film, or web series. So really what shocked me was his explaining that people make decisions about other people within 30 seconds of meeting them. Also, what you have to say is the least important aspect of gaining their trust and acceptance. Wow. He says that people decide in 30 seconds of meeting you if you're going to be persuasive and if they're going to like you based on three key factors. Factor number one is your physical presentation. Uh, the number one factor is how you present yourself. This includes your facial expressions, your eye contact, your gestures, and even how you sit. Uh, Albert Moravian, professor of psychology at UCLA, says that 55% of total likability is how you physically present yourself. Do you have eye contact? Are you relaxed? Are you stressed or anxious? In other words, how you look and act accounts for more than anything else in a presentation or a pitch. People see this nonverbal communication and they're receiving this while you're speaking. So it's important information to them because it's critical, especially when it is incongruent with what you're saying. And that's when they'll doubt you and they'll make a decision not to trust you even before they really hear your pitch. Gary says that you need to smile, be friendly, be open, and make people feel comfortable around you. Remember, your donors want to know if you're trustworthy because they're instantly making a major decision and they're asking themselves, are you someone that I can know, like, and trust? Factor two is how you sound. How you sound is 38% of the acceptability. When you speak, are you enthusiastic? Are you upbeat? And are you positive? Do you sound confident? Do you use appropriate inflection? tone and range, all of these are important elements that should be considered when you're making your pitch. That's a lot. But Gary warns not to use fillers like mmm and do not pause often because this can make you seem like you're unsure of yourself. In our intentional filmmaking class, producer Tom Malloy always teaches filmmakers to practice the pitch until it's part of their DNA. You have to know it word by word. And he suggests you get in front of a mirror and watch and listen to yourself because you want your pitch to be in perfect with no pauses. It has to be natural. You have to believe it. You have to get me to believe it. Once you believe it, then I'll believe it. And the third factor is the words you use. The final 7% is what you say in the meeting. It sounds amazing, but this is so true. Remember that we are discussing the decision that people make in 30 seconds on whether they can like and trust you. People decide what you say after they decide if they like you or not. This is unbelievable, but this decision of likability comes from the nonverbal components that are happening once they meet you. If they trust you, then they listen to your pitch and they make a decision. And if they don't trust you, they tune you out in the first 30 seconds. If donors do trust you, this is when your pitch has to be awesome. If they trust you and your pitch is good, you get the check. And one final thought. Remember, people give money to people, not to films. So the main thing about getting a donation is that the donor is giving the money to you, not to the film. So your first job is to create this feeling between you and the potential donor of trust. You must get this right, because by the time you get ready to give the world's greatest pitch, if the trust and likability factor are not there, then you won't get the donation. Gary says that they'll turn you off and stop receiving your information early in the meeting if they find that they're not comfortable around you. 
And Malcolm Gladwell in his book, Blink, advocates that your instinct comes to you in the blink of an eye. And your donors are operating under their instinct immediately upon meeting you. So your job is to immediately put them at ease, look them in the eye, be confident, be happy, be proud of who you are, and excited about your film. Please use this information to fund your film. Thanks.